What is reverse value migration? Before we dive into reverse value migration, let's quickly cover what value migration is. Value migration refers to the flow of profit and market power from outdated business models to newer, more innovative ones. Think of Blockbuster versus Netflix. Blockbuster was once a giant, but as Netflix innovated, the value a meaning customers, revenue, and growth shifted away from the old video rental model to the new on-demand streaming model. This is value migration. Now, what happens when the opposite occurs? That's where reverse value migration comes in. In reverse value migration, value flows back from new, overcomplicated, or inefficient models to simpler, more effective legacy businesses or approaches. Here's a basic example, in the tech world, let's say a company introduces a highly complex software platform. However, as customers struggle with its complexity, they might migrate back to simpler, older solutions that are easier to use, even if they're not as advanced. That's reverse value migration in action. Why does reverse value migration happen? 1. Overcomplication, sometimes new models become so complex that they no longer serve the customer effectively. 2. Cost inefficiencies, the new model may introduce higher costs, making the older option more attractive again. 3. Customer preference for simplicity, people often prefer simpler, user-friendly products that just work. 4. Trust in proven models, when newer solutions have too many flaws, customers may go back to what's tried and tested. Real-world examples of reverse value migration. 1. Retail. As online retail expanded, some consumers found themselves preferring the in-store shopping experience for items like groceries. Physical stores saw a resurgence in certain markets. 2. Software. Take a company like Slack or Microsoft Teams. Some businesses found them too complex for simple communication needs and returned to email, which, although older, is straightforward and gets the job done. How to spot and leverage reverse value migration as an investor or business owner. 1. Track customer feedback, look for signs of dissatisfaction with new products. 2. Cost efficiency analysis, if new players in the market aren't cost efficient, customers might migrate back to older models. 3. Monitor industry trends, keep an eye on which businesses, even legacy ones, are starting to outperform in a competitive market. By keeping these factors in mind, you can anticipate reverse value migration trends and either invest in companies benefiting from it or adapt your business strategy to capture that migrating value. Alright, that wraps up today's explanation of reverse value migration. Remember, whether you're a business owner or an investor, understanding how value shifts can help you stay ahead of the competition. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment with your thoughts or questions, and of course, give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Stay smart and keep innovating.